is the word. One word from the mouth of the Lord. And this Kenya will be transformed. Elisha said, this time tomorrow. And it was. I've been taught by my mother, Her Excellency, Mother Rachel Ruto, that when you don't know what to do with the protocols, you call your husband. <laughs> <laughs> My beloved husband, give him a clap. Thank you. Please be seated. Um, Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of our Defense Forces, the one and only Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, our First Lady, Mamarisho Ruto, our special fathers, all the anointed men and women of God who are here, the leaders present, God is good, and all the time, Mr. Limiani Kohea Buanes was if you were, Wana Yesu asifiwe tena. Wachugaji mpo. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, it's a great honor for us to be here this morning. And we really want to thank you because you have kept your word. When we met these great men, anointed men and women of God, you did give an undertaking that when God answers our prayer and you are set to that high office, at the first opportunity, the first Thanksgiving service will be held at the State House Gardens. And here we are. I also want to thank you for your commitment to this service. You left abroad in the wee hours of the night, and we came to welcome you at the airport at 6 a.m. because you are determined that you must not be late for this service, and it must happen. Our spiritual fathers, anointed men and women of God, on behalf of my boss and all of us in Kenya Kwanzaa, we have no word to say thank you. Where we have reached the journey to leadership for us was a difficult one. The borders, the rocks put on that path they could not be lifted by an ordinary human being. <laughs> it was the heart of God. And we want to thank you and all Kenyans who prayed for us. And I want to say today, for the record, that the ascendancy of William Ruto and I to the presidency is one of the great miracles of the Almighty God. Because had it been the wish of human beings, we would not be here. They had different ideas of where we should be. And th some of those ideas were not very nice. <laughs> but God had a different plan for us. And therefore, we've, we give glory to God. Our team, led by our captain, President William Ruto, survived because of prayers. I remember many a night we sat in his office in Karen, hard on, analyzing to the various challenges, the schemes, the evil plans, and all of us were stuck. We don't know what to do. We are all looking beaten, haggard, almost giving up. And he would add up the meeting and say, you people go and pray, all will be well. <laughs> and uh, and uh, sure as December 25 is Christmas, when he went <laughs> to his wife, Mama Rachel, and they prayed, he came back in the morning looking energetic and raring to go. And that is how that journey went. 
And he kept on reminding us, you people be of great faith. Pray to God. This far where we have reached, God cannot abandon us. And that is what kept us going. And he believed and he told us again and again. So, anointed men and women of God, thank you very much. But as much as you have prayed for us, you have also work to do. You must continue praying. Continuously and endlessly. <laughs> I know many people had a problem that I said the truth in front of visitors. But I think to many is bad upbringing. I was brought up by my parents and told to always speak the truth. So I want to invite the people of Kenyans, Wazoya Ukweli. You need to pray for Dr. Ruto. The country he has inherited is not a very sweet story. It's a difficult story. Work has to be done. And it's only God's hand that will help him through. It is not easy. We have a difficult situation. Drought is ravaging people across the country. People have no food. People cannot afford food. Uh, hospital bills is an issue. Schools is an issue. And all this is in the hands of one man. He can't do it alone. God must come through for him. And we ask you to continue praying for him endlessly. And for me, I have a personal request from a very selfish point of view. I want you to pray for me to see how I figure out to fill the great shoes of these great men because they are very big. The standard he has set for deputy president is very high. You know, I'm just figuring out how a little fellow, a son of Mau Mau, can fit in those shoes and get somewhere. And it is not easy. Will you pray for me? Please do, because it's not easy. So I really want to thank the church and confirm to you. From where I sit, from my endless conversations with my president every day, during the elections you're asking, in whose hands is the church safe? I want to confirm to you today that in the hands of President William Ruto, the church is very safe. I, I took the Bible and so to assist him. On your behalf, I'll continuously remind him of our MOU with him on the church issues. Even as he has many other duties, it's my responsibility to remind him. And you are good because even if I forgot, the lady who is by my bedside will remind me every day. <laughs> and even if I reminded Dr. William Ruto and he forgets, Mama Rachel is there to remind him. So you guys, you people of the church, you are safe either way. From all directions, you are safe. And finally, nobody can lock you out of the state house. Because even if government officials and security officials lock the gates, Mama Rachel will open it for you. So there's no problem. You are okay. You are okay. So with those very many remarks, it is now my privilege and honor to invite our first lady, Mama Rachel. Say something, my, madam. She doesn't. Okay, okay, fine. Ah, yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, I want to take this opportunity now in a very humble way to welcome the President of the Republic of Kenya, Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces, the one and only Dr. William Samoe Ruto. Sana. Uh, baba wetu maskofu, wachungaji, pastors, 